Hi guys, so today I have Fenrir on here to show you. So we'll just get into it with the four eggs. Uh, we're running the bow ones. This is the egg for the deck. So whenever you trash a card, if it's the Dark Animal or SOC tripped uh, Digimon, you can Digivolve into that Digimon uh, for its memory cost. It's basically how you get into all of your plays, all your big ones. Um, next, we've got four copies of Lugamon, the main rookie of the deck. Um, this is not always one of what you want to see first, but uh, obviously starting main, you tuck an AG from trash or uh, from your hand to gain a memory. And then inherently, if you play a card with the Dark Animal or SOC trait, you gain a memory. Um, and that's not just by effect, that's just if you hard play something as well. So, great card to get into but not always want to see what you want to see early. What you more want to see early is Drachmon. Drachmon's the main search of the deck until we ever get a better one. Um, on play, you reveal top three. Uh, you trash one with the undead or dark animal trait. Uh, then you add one with the undead or dark animal trait and you put any others to the bottom of your deck. Um, this is just great for building up your trash early, just so that you can make sure you're getting that trash built up, so that you can uh, play out loads of things later on. Um, you run, or I run, three copies. Fascomon, because it's Dark Animal and Trip, it has on deletion, draw one trash one. A lot of time, that's mostly what you're using it for, you know, tiny chips to get that little bit of draw and trash power. Um, and then, end of opponent's turn, you can draw one trash one as well. Most of the time, that inheritable is not really going to be live, you're not really digivolving over it, you're not really uh, keeping it there, but um, yeah. And then finally, our last rookie, one copy of Gasmon, because uh, even though there's a lot of digivolve reducing going on in this format, uh, with like the training cards and such, uh, there is still memory gain going on, and Gazimon is still pretty nice to have sometimes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you never miss a thing. Moving on to the level fours, you've got four copies of Lugar. Um, again, he's the level four for the, li for the line, for the deck. Um, his inheritable is the same as the Lugamon, to gain you the memory. Uh, makes the OTK happen, makes it easier. Um, a lot of the time you're not really doing the when attacking effect. Um, you're trying to save that for your level 5, but it is there if you need to just trash and draw more. Um, a lot of time that's not really happening. If you've got the tamer in the line you also gain a memory. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on. Three copies of Fangmon. Uh, this is how you cycle cards back from your trash. Uh, on play and when attacking, you add back one of your Digimon, and then you can trash a card in your hand, just any card. Um, but the Digimon you add back has to be Dark Animal Trip. Um, it's pretty good for the deck. Um, it might go to a 4 of, I might change that, but right now 3 seems to be working. So that's your cycle back. And then these are trash targets. Uh, Black Animal. It's just so you play them back out, they've got rush, just swing, swing for game, everything. Exactly what you need them for. You want to get these to trash as quick as possible. On Drachmon searches, from hand, like if you're not planning on digivolving, even like digivolving into them and then having them die is a great way of just getting them to trash as quick as possible, as early as possible just so you have that set up there. Four copies of Hell Luger 1, getting into our level fives. Uh, end of turn, deletes itself, draws two, and if you have a Lugamon in trash, you add it back. Um, yeah, no, uh, on deletion, you uh, trash uh, up to three cards with the Dark Animal or SOC trait can be your tamer as well, so you get that into trash. Um, and then you delete a level three on your opponent's side, and for every card you trash, you 
add one to the level. So this can be a kill spell as well, just for up to level sixes, um, which can be really good. You can just drop it for turn, pass turn, kill itself, draw two, kill something on your opponent's board, weaken their board state. Pretty good. Um, you've got four copies of the other level four of the line, Solar Grimon. This is the one that precipitates the OTK. It's got the unsuspend and it's inheritable, allows you to play one out when digivolving. If you've got the Tamer, it allows you to play up to a level four if you don't have one uh, in the line, it's just the level three. And uh, when attacking by trashing card, you gain a memory. So this is how you get into Fenrir. Uh, you swing, uh, trash Fenrir, use the baby effect to digivolve into Fenrir, um, play out loads of Digimon, unsuspend, that's just the OTK of the deck. Um, and then finally we've got Chimera Mon. Again, because you're playing out like loads of level 4s, um, Chimera Mon is just there for game. It's just why Jasmon uses it uh, is the exact same reason. Uh, you're using a lot of level 4s, so DNA, and swing for game. If you've just run out of swings, if they've blocked you out, if they've stalled you, you can just do that. Um, what I found as well is he's a really good alternate DNA uh, or Digivolve target just to uh, get into Fenrir. Like if you need to, you can DNA two of your level fours, uh, tuck under the Solar Grimon, and then go Fenrir on top. Um, and that can work just as well. And it gets you all the inheritables you need. Um, and it can just be a free Digivolve that way, because the DNA is for zero. Uh, moving on to level 6s, I only run one, and it's four copies of Fenrir Lukamon. Um, he's all you need. Uh, when Digivolving, you play up to your... You, so you play one level 4 lure uh, with the Dark Animal or SOC trait, then if you have the Tamer in the line, uh, you play uh, another two. Um, when attacking uh, once per turn by deleting one of your opponent's Digimon, you unsuspend. Um, it starts at a level 3, but including himself, for each Digimon you have on board, uh, you increase 1 to the level. So if you've done the full OTK, it actually gets up to like a level 7, level 8, which doesn't even exist. Um, so, and then obviously the main thing everyone loves about Fenrir Lugamon, uh, he extends your memory gauge. So he stops your opponent's turn from starting until it's on 3 memory on their side. So that's how you do so much on your turn, because he just actually gives you extra turn, extra memory. Um, then finally, the last Digimon in the deck, uh, one copy of Death X. Um, just because it's such a wide format, wide board states, um, and he's purple, so you can grab him off some of the searches, um, and you can Digivolve over Fenrir if you ever wanted to do that. Most of the time you don't. Um, but he's there. He could come out for other things. He could come out for like a ruin mode. Um, I prefer Death X just because I like to keep my Fenrir, so I like to just be able to hard play Death X, uh, just kill a lot of little things, um, suffocate the board a bit. But yeah, he could be a ruin mode, or he could just not be there if you don't want him there. But I play him. Moving on to Tamers, we've got four copies of A.G. Nakasumi. He is the main tamer of the deck. He's always what you want to see. A lot of time, if you're not seeing him, uh, it's that's why your deck, or that's why your game isn't going very well. Um, a lot of time, it's just a struggle to see him. Uh, so you run the full four to see him as much as you can. Um, you don't care if he ends up in trash, because Lugamon can grab him from trash. Uh, you don't care as long as you see him either in your hand, on your board, in your security, or like in your trash, it doesn't matter. Um, you just want to see him. Uh, his main effect, so at the start of your main phase, you gain a memory if your opponent has a Digimon. It gives you more memory. Uh, you can mind link him to one of your Dark Animal or SOC trait Digimon. And inheritably, he gives those Digimon Alliance and Blocker. So, Alliance, as you know from the Bunny deck, 
uh, you suspend one of your other Digimon when you're attacking, and you gain its DP and you gain its security attack, and that's how you just blitz through your opponent's security. Um, the blocker can be nice if you can't do the OTK. Uh, the blocker is just there so that you can feel safe on the next turn, but a lot of the time you're just killing your opponent. Three copies of Analog Youth. Uh, on play, reveal top three, add a Digimon, trash the rest, build up your trash. Uh, best purple tamer, right here. Um, all turns, uh, when one of your level five or higher dies uh, that has Digivolution cards, you can tap him to gain a memory and hatch an egg. So this paired with Hell Lugramon, a lot of time you choke your opponent on one memory. Uh, you then, end of turn, kill the Hell Lugramon. Uh, do the whole draw two, kill their opponent's board, and then you tap him, you gain the memory back, you hatch an egg. Hopefully if you've grabbed a Lugamon back from trash, you just digivolve into it, you start your whole thing over again, and you've lost practically no progress. So he's a great tamer for the deck. Um, I have him as a three up just because, you know, he's really good, but a lot of time you only need one or two on the board. You don't need that many, and you're, you see him often enough. Uh, so, three of. I've got Matt from the SD16 starter deck as a two of, uh, just because I want a memory setter. Um, it helps early on if you see him. Um, it can even help later on. A lot of time you want him to be hidden security, so you don't even have to worry about playing him. Um, all turns, whenever you trash a card in your hand, you gain a memory. Um, this is basically so, like, if you're at like zero memory, and you're swinging with the soul Lugramon. It means you can not only gain the memory from the soul trashing the Fenrir, but gain a memory from Matt as well. And that way it does keep your turn, it doesn't pass your opponent. It can just be that little bit of extra memory gain just to make sure the, per uh, the turn doesn't pass and you can do the OTK. Moving on to options. Four Wisdom Tree. <clears throat> this is a card I wasn't fully sure on. I was going to stick with memory boosts, honestly. Um, mostly because I wanted a wider search to get things. And I just, with the effect of the Baumon, I was just under the impression that the trainings uh, causing you to Digivolve just doesn't mesh well with the deck. But the, the thing I found is, because they're so cheap, and because they're so cost effective, they give you all the memory back. Um, a lot of time, you are needing them, and you are wanting them, just so that you are just doing the cheapest thing to give your opponent the least amount of memory. Um, and then you just did evolve for like one into your level fives, and you're memory choking them uh, with hells, or you're getting into souls so much quicker, and not having to worry about memory. So they are just the better, uh, option to play because you're always going to hit something unless you hit analog and like uh, chimera. Um, I'm waiting on the day I hit both of them with a wisdom but it hasn't happened yet. Um, but yeah that's the only card you can miss out on um, for the most part. The last card I play is X program. I love X program. Uh, so its main effect is you delete one Digimon without the X antibody on its traits, but if there's three or more Digimon in play, including your opponent's board, you delete all Digimon without X antibody on their traits instead. Most of the time what I found before adding this card in was that I didn't really have a lot of faith in my security. Um, its security effect only deletes one Digimon, um, but it can be the difference between your opponent killing you or not killing you. Um, basically, it's just there so you can kind of have a bit of hope in your security and be like, there could be an X program in there, there could be a bomb in there, stop my opponent, you know, kill something uh, that could have potentially swung and lost you the game. Um, but a lot of the time as well, it's not just secondary, like board wipe. Because a lot of your Digimon, uh, all of the Lugamon line has X antibody in their traits. Uh, if you just play this from hand, you know that your Lugamon stuff, at the very least, is going to be safe. And you could be restocking your trash with level 4s to play out the game. Um, or just 
killing your opponent's board, just wiping the entire thing, because unless they're playing an X antibody deck, the X program's gonna delete their stuff. Um, and because you run uh, analog use, you can play this card, because it's a white card. Uh, you can just play it with a white tamer, and it works. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. I have not finished.